In this video, we are going to show dotted line connections in an organization chart and a couple of techniques for how they are created. So one of the points to consider is that every company uses organization charts to ensure they have the right team in place for business results. And when it comes to matrix dotted line connections, we have an increase in project-based work within companies. Therefore, employees must report to more than one manager. A solid line indicates a formal reporting relationship to a manager, and a dotted line indicates a matrixed relationship. So typically, the solid line indicates the person who writes the appraisal, signs the paycheck. A dotted line indicates someone who is reporting on a temporary basis. Two techniques for created dotted lines one manual and one automated are going to be shown using the OrgChart Platinum software. As a preview, we'll take a look at this example. So we've got a simple organization chart with solid line relationships. These are all formal relationships we're looking at. And we're going to create a dotted line connection between the uh, Abby who has the special projects responsibility and she requires an admin on a temporary basis. So we see there's no connection at the moment. And here we see an example where a dotted line has been inserted to indicate a matrix reporting relationship. I'm going to show you two techniques for ways in which this dotted line can be created. First, using the org chart software, we can see the organization chart in the palette area. And there is a dynamic connector on the left-hand side in the chart design area. We simply grab that, attach it to one of the connectors on the box, and then we draw up to the other box. And here we have a dotted line connection that has been created. So that is the manual approach to creating a dotted line, is simply use the dynamic connector. Next, let's look at an automated way for creating the dotted line relationships. We start with a spreadsheet, which has a list of each individual and who it is that they report to. So those two columns will establish the solid line relationships. If we proceed to the right here in column H, we can see I've got a title for a column here that is dotted line manager one. And as in our previous example, where we had Chester reporting to Abby, we can put down Abby's name as the dotted line manager for Chester, because it's on this line here, right here for line, line six, row six. So we're gonna show you that example on an import process, how the, that field can be used to automatically create a dotted line relationship. Let's see how that's done. First, we go to the import wizard, we select the Excel file, we select the file, that we're going to be importing that has the desired fields. We proceed to this prompt that has a dotted line hierarchy option in it. And so what we're gonna be doing is filling that out. It's gonna be asking for what position or the column that describes the person's name, and it's going to have a reports to field. So we'll say employee name reports to it's going to be dotted line manager one. And because the org chart platinum application can handle multiple dotted line relationships for each person, we can also create another row that would be that same employee name reporting to dotted line manager two. So in our example, we could have Chester reporting to not just one person, but two people. Okay. So that's really all I had to do was fill that out. And again, looking back at the spreadsheet, we can see that this dotted line manager one field, we've got Abby's name in here. So we see Chester is going to report to both Dan and is going to report to Abby. If we wanted additional people that Chester would report to, we could fill their names out in the dotted line manager two column. And if there's others, it could be dotted line manager three, four, and so on. And it really doesn't matter what you call this field. Um, I just put that there for clarity for the purposes of this presentation. So I proceed through this wizard, checking off the fields that I want visible in each box, clicking next and finish. And as we can see here, the import created our hierarchy with the dotted line connecting Chester to Abby 
and here's our dotted line relationship. And Chester also has the solid line to Dan, his, his direct supervisor. To make this perhaps a little more clear, I have colored the boxes and I changed the color of the dotted line. Now, next, what might be of interest is if we wanted to also loan Chester, the project admin, out to Kevin, the vice president. What we could do is make a change in the data here and add Kevin as dotted line manager too. So now I can show you the example where Chester is going to report to both. So we made the change in our Excel file. So all that requires then is that we're just going to do a data resync. That's the great thing about the org chart platinum application is that as the data changes, then it's very easy to simply refresh. You don't have to redo the entire chart. So under my data tab, now I'll simply just do a resync of the data. And as you can see, Chester is now dotted line reporting to both Abby and to Kevin. So this took place simply by putting the information in the spreadsheet and then just doing a resynchronization. Keep in mind that these dotted line connections, unlike the cosmetic ones that we showed in the manual example, are being tracked in the database. So as I click on Chester's box here, I can see his position detail shows his solid line supervisor, which is Dan, and then the two dotted line managers that he's reporting to. So this is one of the great things about the application is that we're tracking this in a database. It's not simply cosmetic on the diagram. So when it comes to dotted line relationships, there is a better way to be able to create these. And the example that we've shown in automation, as well as with the manual approach, is these are fast to create, easy to share, and because relationships are continuously changing, then these can be maintained as always up to date. Org Chart Professional and Org Chart Platinum are the ways in which you can easily manage this. Visit us on the web at orgchartpro.com or contact us at sales at officeworksoftware.com.